Hey guys, John here again. Um, I'm going to do another um, CD request um, from uh, Metal Mickey. I um, just want to see all the CDs I own. Um, I'm probably up to about video 21 or something now. Um, so uh, there's loads more to go through, absolutely loads. And uh, I'm just going to. Um, do a pile that's hidden behind here and uh, oh, and I've got to do that pile as well yeah so here we go first one um, and this is a, a great band I love listening to this band and uh, it is Survivor and this is Vital Signs this is um, when did this come out was it originally 84 um and uh yeah jimmy jameson's on here he's my favorite singer of survivor um i didn't like the other guy much i just the the mate the the two eye of the tiger was okay well good song but and then that was about it for me um wasn't really keen on the other stuff um i can't hold back is amazing i love that High on You, the search is over, um, Everlasting, I see you in everyone. Um, this is just, I, it's, all, it's really, really cool uh, and I love it. So, um, yeah, and this is the remastered, reloaded collector's one. Uh, stick that there. Next one is another one by Survivor, Too Hot to Sleep, and um, this one's from, just check, uh, 1988, <clears throat> and um, yeah, this is uh, got Desperate Dreams on, which is, I love that song, Desperate Dreams, Too Hot to Sleep's on here. Across the Miles is a real beautiful song, it's great. Um, didn't know it was love. Um, another really great CD album. Um, and uh, yeah, check, them, check those out. And uh, oh, I'm gonna do this one as well, quickly. Oh no, I won't, I'll do this. Uh, Oh, Postman, I'm going to pause you a sec. I'm back. Yeah, Postman. Um, I got a package in the post, but I'm going to have to do it in the next video. Um, I've got this from, yeah, from somewhere, and I have no idea who this is. I'm really, yeah, I'll do that in a minute. Right. Carry on with these CDs. Um, next one is a CD called Number One by King Cobra. It's not an album of, as such. It's just um, like rare stuff on there and uh, unreleased stuff, I think it is. Um, but yeah, there's some good stuff on here um, with uh, most of the different singers of um, King Cobra but yeah 2005 that came out and uh, check it out on YouTube before you um, you uh, buy it because um, it's 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 uh, you know I think there's I think some of it's um, got demos on it there's some of it's demos and stuff just on release stuff so but still good. Oh, I forgot to um, to rate my Survivor stuff, but I would give both of them an eight out of ten for sure. And then this, um, I would. It's not really a proper album, so I would say that was a, a five to six, five point five to six out of ten. Um, next one. Um, I haven't listened to this much either, 
This is Jimmy Jameson and Bobby Kimball. And uh, obviously of Toto fame and Jimmy Jameson survivor. Um, this has got a bonus DVD as well. So that opens out like that. It's just it's just light light rock AOR. It's um, I can't. I'm not going to rate it because I've only listened to it about once. Um, it was it was easy. It was an easy listening album. So, but uh, that came out in 2011. It's just called Kimball Jameson. Um, next one, I oh, the Tiger Survivor. Um, obviously, I said before, the only song of theirs I like is I the Tiger. Um, I just cannot get into the rest of it. This was a reissue, this came out in 1990, but yeah, just I, I don't know, I just don't really enjoy the songs um, which I'm sure a lot of people will um, find hard to imagine American Heartbeat I just wasn't into that either and that was one of the singles wasn't it um, they did I think I prefer all the stuff with Jimmy Jameson but not this um, so I'm going to give that a, a 5 out of 10 Actually, no, I'm going to give that a 4 out of 10. Sorry, Survivor fans. Um, then we got... Oh, my oh, my cases are getting wrecked. Broken. Um, right. Survivor, when seconds count. Um, this has got uh, A Man Against the World on. Rebel Sun, Oceans, when seconds count. Uh, In Good Faith is an amazing song. Can't let you go. Uh, Burning Heart is the bonus track on here, which is you know awesome. And uh, this came out originally in '86, and uh, this is the 2011 remaster. And uh, <clears throat> I would give that an eight out of ten all day long. Some really good. Um, ah, not many. I don't hear much of this band in the VC and it is Alias and uh, people should really go out and buy this because it is an awesome AOR soft rock band um, with three members, ex-members of Heart from the 70s and, uh, and then you got Freddie Kirky on vocals and Steve Demarchi on uh, guitars along with um, Roger Fisher from Heart, who was in Heart, uh, Rick DeRosia, um, and I forgot the other guy who plays ba used to play bass. <laughs> uh, it won't come to me now. Um, but yeah. Oh, here it is. Here's the name. Um, Steve Fossen. That was the guy. Uh, but yeah. This is, um, you check out the song uh, Haunted Heart, Waiting for Love. Um, after all the love is gone, and um, more than words can say, being their, probably their biggest track. And uh, that is just, uh, I, I'm going to give that a 10 out of 10 because that's, um, I love that album. Ooh. And uh, next one. Oh, this is amazing as well. Um, House of Lords, Demons Down album. Um, listen to the song, Oh Father. That's cool, cool and very cool start to the album. Demons Down, What's Forever For, which is amazing. Spirit of Love is amazing. Metallic Blue and is amazing. Inside You is probably one of the best, one of my favourite ballad type songs ever. Um, but yeah, this is really cool, and I'm going to give that a 10 out of 10, because I love that. And 
Then we've got another House of Lords, the first album. Uh, I Want to Be Loved is on here. Love Don't Lie, which is amazing. Um, what's the other one? Uh, Call My Name. Jealous Heart. And that would be the ones that's... Oh, Edge of Your Life is amazing. That's songs that stand out for me. And uh, this is 1988. This is a re issued one this is from 2013 it's in the jewel case um, with the rounded corners but yeah awesome give that a 9 out of 10 that one um, then we've got we can go on to this one how long is this video 10 uh, the cult sonic temple uh, people who have maybe seen my videos on the cult um, will know that I haven't really been into them that long. Um, I used to actually hate the band. Um, but I've grown to appreciate them more. You listen to the song, um, the first one, which is Sun King. That's just amazing. Um, and ED, that's amazing. Firewoman's good. Um, and I can't remember what the rest of the CD sounds like, but it is a... It is excellent, um, and I'm going to give that um, a 7.5 to 8 out of 10. Um, next one, Nelson, After the Rain. I've only listened to this a few times, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to rate it, because I, um, I need to listen to it again. Uh, it's from 1990. I wasn't really... I wasn't into this band, it's just, I knew they were a rock band of that time and when I've had this CD for quite a few years now and uh, I think I got it in a charity shop because I didn't go out and buy it new so um, I'm just going to uh, say yeah, let me know what you think of that because um, I think I'm a bit like I've even got to the point where I thought I was going to sell that. And I thought, oh no, I'll just keep it for now. Um, next one, Damn Yankees. Um, that is just self-titled. Obviously, it's got Ted Nugent in. Oh, I can't stand Ted Nugent. That guy is just as annoying as um, David Lee Roth to me. Um, but yeah... Other than that, you got Tommy Shaw and then Jack Blades and Michael Cartoloni. I don't know him, but yeah, I bought this for the reason that it's got the song High Enough on it, and that was it. Um, it is actually a good CD, um, but I'm only going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Did I have it? Yeah. Um, a band that I did, I did start listening to in the 90s and uh, I've actually, I don't listen to their stuff now because it's really got on my wick a bit and it is the, the um, yeah, no, I can't listen to it anymore and it's Mr Big um, and I don't hear much of this in the VC but I can understand why because it's uh, sort of, the, the, you know, some of the songs are really good, but Garney, I'm quite fed up with Eric Martin's voice. Um, this is 1991. Lean into it. I think the best song on here is Just Take My Heart. And that's it. And then that song to be reused on there. It's alright, but Jeez, it's been overplayed. <laughs> I'm only going to give that a, f a 5 out of 10 and people are going to go, it's better than that. But Okay, 5.5, because I'm being generous today. Then I've got the um, big, bigger, biggest greatest hits thing. The best of Mr. Big. And uh, yeah, this I would give a seven, 7 out of 10. Obviously you've got a good cover of Wild World on there. 
Um, and obviously, being the best of, it's going to have all the good songs. But um, yeah, no, I'm going to give that. No, I'm going to give that an eight. Um, now we go on to these hot chicks. Vixen, rev it up. This is the second album. Yeah, and uh, it's got the uh, How Much Love on here. Love is a killer, I love that song. Um, not a minute too soon. Um, and the other one, what's that? Is that Fallen Hero? Oh, I can't remember what that's like. But no, great, great band, great female band. And they should have done, they were, they were big obviously then, but it's a shame they didn't get any bigger. But uh, the hair did, the hair got bigger. <laughs> Actually, no, I think they toned it down for this one. It was the first album that the hair was a lot bigger. <laughs> but yeah, you know, rest in peace, Jan. Um, you're a hot, hot babe. <laughs> oh. And I know, I think it's Mikey who will agree with me on that. I'm sure he was the one that messaged me about that. If not Mike, I'm sorry. Um, right, oh. What was oh, I didn't even rate it, did it? I'm gonna go, for that, I'm gonna go an eight out of 10. And then this one, the first album, Vixen, which is gonna be a eight and a half out of 10. It's got um, Crying On, it's got Love Made Me, uh, Edge of a Broken Heart, um, I Want You to Rock Me, Desperate, uh, 1988, and uh, great CD. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give a eight and a half for that. Um, next one, Lita Ford, and uh, this one is Dangerous Curves. Now, yeah, one hot babe. Um, larger than life's on here. What do you do? What do you know about love? Shot of poison. Playing with fire. Um, Black Widow. Just an amazing album. Nineteen ninety one. And uh, yeah, yeah. Playing with Fire would be my fav favourite there for sure. But awesome. So um, I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. Actually, no, I won't. Uh, yeah, I will. 9 out of 10. Um, how long have we got? I'm going to do two, one more. And this is um, one by Paul Shortino. And... Uh, JK Northrop. It's called After Life. After Life. After Life. And uh, yeah. Great cover. Um, got the amazing song on here, Like a Stone. Um, and uh, yeah. The other ones are great songs as well, but Like a Stone is a standout for me. Um, if no one's heard this, go and check it out. He did another album before this uh, with the same lineup. Oh uh, well, Paul Shortino and J.K. Northrop. Um, this is from. God, it doesn't give me a date. I don't really want to take it out of the packaging. I can't remember. I think it's mid two thousands. I think. Um, I can't think what it is when it was. Right. Ah. Uh, let's just see. Let's just see when this one is. Oh my bl blooming Cody's on. Oh, computer's playing up today. Right. So my computer comes back on and say I will sort it out. 
Um, so yeah, this here I would give uh, an eight out of 10. And that is it for that video. Um, I'm not doing it too much longer. Um, otherwise it takes forever to upload. So um, cheers for watching, keep rocking. And uh, hi to everyone in the VC. Um, sorry if I've not replied to anybody yet. I've had lots of things lots of um things going on at the moment and uh yeah and uh can't wait to do some more vinyl and cd stuff so cheers see ya